Hey, hello. You're stuck in traffic for Wolf Gorlick. Couple minute riff on IT and IT security. Today, looking at 2FA bypasses. So, I live and die by my email. And I, uh, of course, whenever I'm doing an assessment or personally, I'm recommending multi factor authentication, right? At least two factors something you've forgotten and something you've lost. That's uh, something like that, right? I think that's how it works. Good long passwords you can't remember and some token that you've misplaced somewhere. Uh, or, in the case of a lot of the new 2FA tools, uh, a soft token on your phone, which is much, much better in my opinion. Now, as with any control, there's always a bypass. So shout out to Silent Koala, shout out to him for emailing me that Exchange Web Access's 2FA has been bypassed. Here's what is. Um, you can use a tool like Mail Sniper. You can connect Mail Sniper to one of the web services APIs, and you can, doing that, send it a password, and it will not require 2FA. And once you've done that, because it's over the API, once you've authenticated, you can then pull back some messages. This is particularly good uh, if you're trying to get a username's password, you know, like you're going through a user list or whatever, or if you're trying to brute force an account better to get a username's password. So you have a whole bunch of users and you just fire off, I don't know, autumn 2016 on an organization and try every single one. Uh, why does this work? This works because of two main problems. One, very, very difficult to uh, test web services. I've talked about this many, many times it's one of the hardest things for us to test, web services and APIs. Uh, because of different permutations, there's not necessarily a lot of tools, and therefore, a lot of the vulnerabilities are found in the API layer. So, tip to you attacker, check the APIs. Tip to you defender, they're gonna check the APIs. <laughs> so, uh, that's one. Two, why does it work? Because when you're building systems, it's very easy for you to put a control in one place and then forget to put it in other places. We had a similar problem happen many years ago, if you guys have seen my securing uh, the development lifecycle and hostile environments talk, where I talk about a capture the flag event and the challenge uh, board that we built. That challenge board had the same problem where it didn't have the, the authentication controls apply consistently across all modules. And here's an example where the 2FA controls are not applied consistently across all authentication points. So, another tip to you attackers, test all the various ways in an application. Don't just be, you know, depressed and dejected when the first time the main way in doesn't work. <clears throat> and to you defenders, you've got a lot of things to cover. Every single module needs to be checked uh, because, of course, authentication is a cross-cutting concern, but it's not necessarily applied that way. Uh, finally, finally, what do you do now? Uh, I get concerned whenever I see articles like this because I know that people are going to say, ah, 2FA is dead. Get rid of 2FA. If you're using two-factor authentication on your web access, be it Microsoft's 2FA or third-party like Duo, those are the two that were tested. If you are using those, it's not dead. You're okay. <laughs> Consider the attack path and put other controls along that path to protect uh, the user. So, for example, control can get to that web services API uh, and increase the monitoring. All right, that's it for me. Hit me up in comments. Um, 2FA, please don't tell me it's dead. <laughs> What's, uh, what are some of the challenges and some of the ways that uh, you can secure Outlook Web Access now that we know this is bypass? Love to hear it. Comments below or hit me on social media. Cheers.